Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the index string um, method. Index string method. Sorry, I had a brain fart there for a second and forgot what we were doing. So the index string method is pretty similar to the find string method but the only difference is instead of getting a negative one when it doesn't find your um, argument it's going to give you a value error. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to do uh, create a string here. We'll do a is equal to um, this is our string like we've done a million other times. Hit return. And we're going to do a dot index parentheses and we'll say uh, is um, our quote to close it and then our parentheses to close it. Hit return. And just like in find, we get a integer or an index number, actually, I should say, index number returned to us. And the index number is to the first occurrence in our string object. Okay? So it finds the first string, the first occurrence, and returns that object number to us. Now, what happens if it doesn't find something? So we'll do a index, and we'll do z, hit return. Ah, value error, some string not found. So it's not found. Alright, so um, as you can see, it's very similar to find, but index just looks for the index of that uh, substring. So we also have the same um, optional arguments of the start and stop location. So we could do uh, O, and then we we'll do start at 3 and we'll end it at so end at 9 and hit return and we find O at the 8th index position so how do I do that? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 we put 9 there because every time we use a slice as an ending point, it's always going to stop at the letter before, or the index position before, so we get zero. Um, so that's how index works. Very similar to find, just the two differences are find, you're going to get a negative one. So let's take a look at find real quick. A find, and we'll look at uh, Z again. So we get negative one. If we do A index, then we'll do Z we get a value error. All right. So it's completely up to you which one you use. Um, this one's probably going to break your program. This one's just going to return a negative one to you. And like we said in the previous tutorial, we could also do Z in A, hit return, it returns false. So now we get, you know, an integer return to us, a boolean, oops, a boolean return to us down here or we can get a value error. Whatever method you prefer, we'll talk more about the in shortly in a later tutorial. So for now if you have any questions leave a comment on YouTube or on our website learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our vid videos and we'll see you in the next one.